Day in my life as a golden retriever puppy living in New York City. My dad took the broom out this morning and I was like, oh, oh my god, dad, what the hell? Get that thing away from me, man. Ew. Hate brooms. I was like, mom, did you see that? That was messed up, man. I gotta decompress by eating my plastic bone now. Plastic's good. Like, don't knock it till you try, people. F promise. And then I found my other plastic bone and I was like, mom, don't move because I have to eat this up against your leg. It's the best angle, I swear. You wouldn't know because you're not a dog. Then my dad felt bad about the broom, so he gave me some ear scratches, and I was like, ah, that's the spot. My mom called me eating this bag today, and I was like, bro, I'm not eating it, I'm cleaning it. It's not my fault that you're dirty, and I have to do all the work around here. And she was mad, so I was like, maybe if I don't move, I stay frozen, she won't notice me. But she did. And then I found out my dad was playing with my tennis ball, and I was like, what the hell, bro? We all know the rules, and tennis balls are made for dogs. Not humans, especially not grown men. So I got the ball back and I showed my mom. I said, see, mom, I rule this house. She was like, I know. And then she thought I was up to something bad in her room, but I wasn't. I was still playing the tennis ball and I was like, mom, literally stop being so dramatic. All you do is think I'm being bad. I'm not, but I kind of always am. And then I was like, I'm sorry. Let's just, how about you just throw it? And she did such a weak throw. I was like, bro, if you think I'm going to run for that, you are joking. No way. I was like, we're done playing tennis. And now I'm tired, and I'm going to lay in my crate. I ate the bottom of it the other day just because I was bored, so now I have to lay on these bars. But whatever. Catch you later.